Hey everyone, August Severn here with Capital Data Analytics. Uh, today, what we're going to go over in this how-to video is how to create uh, a show hide. Um, this is useful for when you're trying to show maybe two different visualizations in this case. So right now we have a line chart, maybe we want it to be a heat map. Uh, this is useful when you have kind of a you know space constricted dashboard and you want to include multiple visualizations and different ways to see things. Uh, you can use it uh, any number of ways. This is just kind of one way to use it. Um, but let's get started on how to do this. So I already developed the time series and the heat map sheets. I also have the template for the dashboard ready to go. So the main piece that we need to build here, uh, we'll need to build a parameter. So this will be our chart selector, we'll call it. Uh, we'll set that to string this to list um, and then you obviously want to kind of make this all make sense so you can find it and know what's going on so we'll call our first value line chart and our second value heat map so once that's done we'll hit ok and that will create our chart selector parameter uh, the next piece that we need is to create a calculated field um, so this is just going to be we'll call it our chart filter and then what we'll want to put in here is just the parameter. So what this is going to do is, is whatever the parameter says, this field's going to say the same thing. So if we select line chart, it's going to say line chart. So we'll put that in there. So as you can see, this is our parameter because it's purple. We'll hit OK. So now we have this chart filter field. So we have all the pieces that we need to get this done. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out to our dashboard. Uh, this is a vertical container. So what we're going to do is put both of our visualizations into the vertical container. Obviously, you can use whatever if it's a horizontal that you want to kind of use uh, vertical, but it needs to be in some kind of container format um, to make this work. So let's just remove some of this stuff. Oops. We don't want that in there. Uh, we want our heat map in there. So we'll add that in there. So right now, as you can see, we have our heat map and we have our line chart. Now we obviously don't want both of these in here at the same time. Um, so that's where kind of the magic comes in on these dashboards. So if we add the parameter to the page, so our chart selector parameter, which of course we've got to go grab. All right, we'll just remove this for now. Uh, obviously formatting is going to be needed at the end here, but uh, for now we'll just put the perimeter out there. So you see we have our line chart and our heat map. It obviously doesn't do anything. It's not connected to anything. So we're going to start on the line chart. So with line chart selected, you'll want to go to the line chart sheet and put your chart filter on to filter. So as you can see, this is just reflecting what the parameter is saying. So we want to select line chart because we're in the line chart sheet. And we'll hit OK. As you can see, it doesn't do anything to the line chart. We'll go out to the dashboard. Nothing's different. But if we switch this to the heat map in the parameter, you can see the line chart disappears. Um, Basically, what it's doing is it's filtering out all the data uh, in the line chart when we switch to heat map uh, based on the filter that we applied. Uh, so because we're not pinning the size of that, that sheet, it just kind of flattens down to almost nothing. So it looks like it disappears. So now that we have heat map selected, we're going to do the same steps for the heat map. So if we click into the heat map sheet, <clears throat> add our chart filter here. It says heat map, we're on the heat map sheet. Select that, hit OK. And as long as the formatting holds, <laughs> uh, we, we see it doesn't really do anything until we switch. So now when we select line chart, oh, we get the line chart. When we select heat map, we get the heat map. So that's how you put that together. I hope you enjoyed this video. 